South man in police custody. Robert Loggins died inside the Grenada County Jail more than two years ago. His death ruled accidental. But tonight, a new lawsuit, jailhouse video, and officer interviews obtained by the WMC Action News 5 investigators call into question how Loggins died and why. Now, a warning. The video you're about to see is hard to watch. Here's investigator Jessica Jaglois. The man pinned to the floor in this video is Robert Loggins, who died in custody at the Grenada County Jail in November 2018. Was your knee on his neck or his head? Not to my recollection. The officer being questioned by investigators is the man sitting on Loggins' head. Were you sitting on Mr. Help Loggins? No, sir. This interview and these images are now at the center of a new lawsuit that questions how Loggins died and if his life could have been saved. Before the officers left Loggins in the lobby of the Grenada County Jail, they had responded to his cries for help. Those cries for help brought the officers here to this homeowner's backyard. Keep it still here, I'm out. A neighbor dialed 911 on November 29, 2018 because she heard someone shouting for help outside her home. Body cam video shows Grenada police officers searched for the source of the cries, which eventually led them to Robert Loggins, face down in a backyard with his hands under his body. I saw him on the Jesus Christ. Hey, take your hand, my buddy. I'm gonna save him. You got blown up now. I'm protecting. Get my buddy. Take your hands, my buddy. Now. When Loggins did not comply with officers' commands, he was repeatedly shot with a taser. Oh. Officers struggled to handcuff Loggins for an additional four minutes before they restrained his hands behind his back. The video captured this remark from one officer. Is he on drugs? The officers later told state investigators they believed Loggins was on drugs because they knew him personally, some of them since he was a child. This wasn't a newcomer or someone they didn't know. He had a history of drug issues, of, of mental issues. Jerry Mitchell with the Mississippi Center for Investigative Reporting wrote about Loggins after a source provided videos and documents related to his death. Mitchell then provided that material to the WMC Action News 5 investigators. What did you think when you saw this video? I thought it reminded me a lot of George Floyd. Mitchell says that's because of what happened once Loggins arrived at the jail. Security video inside the lobby shows three officers carrying Loggins and placing him on the floor, on his stomach, in what is known as the prone position, with his hands still cuffed behind his back. The video has no sound, but shows police officers and correctional officers moving in to restrain Loggins while they put on a new set of handcuffs. This police officer can be seen kneeling on Loggins' neck for about a minute while Loggins is face down. He then sits on Loggins' head for an additional two minutes, we then see the police officers leave, and when the correctional officers pick up Loggins, he can't stand. He's not moving, and he's uh, proves to be lifeless. Dr. Michael Bodden is the former New York City chief medical examiner. He's watched the video and believes Loggins died from positional asphyxiation. It's when they're forcefully putting the arms together so that the, the chest doesn't move up and down as freely or more important, when there's pressure put on the back. According to this 1995 Department of Justice memo, the prone position can cause sudden in-custody death, especially if pressure is applied to the subject's back. FatalEncounters.org tracks the number of people who've died while in police custody. Its database shows at least 157 people have died of asphyxiation while being restrained over the last 10 years. Dr. Bodden says if Loggins had stopped breathing during the three minutes the officers were on his back and neck, he may have survived if CPR was performed right away. And as in this instance, was not done right away. The video shows the jailers dragging Loggins back to a holding cell, but they reverse course, bringing Loggins back to the lobby and putting him on the floor. He remains there, not moving, for six minutes until the sergeant in charge checks his pulse. Two minutes later, she dials 911. I need an ambulance at the Grenada County Jail now. This man has got no heartbeat and he's not breathing. I want them all put back over here and I want an ambulance here. Two minutes later, EMTs arrive and eventually begin chest compressions. Loggins never regained consciousness. The Mississippi medical examiner ruled Loggins' death an accident. The cause? Methamphetamine toxicity. Dr. Bodden has reviewed the report. The methamphetamine he had in his body in my opinion, was very low and was not a lethal level for a person who uh, 
has been exposed to uh, uh, drugs of abuse in the past. The day after Logan's death, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation interviewed the officer seen kneeling on Logan's neck. Was your knee on his neck or his head? Not to my recollection, no, sir. I don't, I don't believe it was. When you say you don't believe, either you were or you were not. No, sir, I, I was not. I was not on his head. Police officers at the jail were also interviewed and shared similar recollections. Was anybody sitting on Mr. Loggins' head or neck area? He never put pressure on, on his neck or on his head. Did you see anybody sit on his head or his neck? Mate, I, I, can't, I can't remember. I can't say one way or the other if they sat on, on, on his head. Some of the jailers, however, did remember. So he actually stood up, turned around, and sat down on his head to take the strength, restraints off. I wanted to go under the police department, sat right here on his shoulders, and sat right here on the back of his neck. Loggins leaves behind a young daughter. The child's mother is now suing the police officers, correctional officers, and others she believes are responsible for his death, a death that was caught on camera. Was it hard to watch the video? It is hard to watch from a perspective of you see a man who's very much alive, and then three and a half minutes later... Someone that just who looks lifeless. He just doesn't move again. He is just lifeless. He doesn't move. And nobody comes to help him. For the investigators, I'm Jessica Jaglois. The Mississippi Black Caucus has requested the Department of Justice and the Mississippi Department of Public Safety investigate Logan's death. We reached out to both those agencies to see if they would launch investigations, but have not heard back.